What's up guys, my name is Chris Kane, and welcome to a new Let's Play of a very short RPG game called, what I'm assuming is pronounced Ella. This is a game that was actually made by a fellow YouTuber that I've come across a, a few months ago. His name is Zalzar. Um, I didn't expect this. Uh, I didn't, you know, this inspires me to make my own game at some point, but, you know, he worked really hard on this game. This is basically a story RPG that's got some horror elements to it, I believe, and has multiple endings and all that good stuff. So the link to the game will be in the description and also his YouTube channel. Hope you guys will enjoy. So let's get into this. It's supposed to be really interesting based on how he hyped this game up. So let's see. So what are we doing? Did I really sleep here? Oh god, we just wake up into the nightmare. Okay, can you run? Okay, there's a run button. Controls very uh, similar to other RPGs I've played. Uh, water is dripping from inside the wall. Broken pipes are running along the wall. Nothing appears to be shining, so I don't think there's any items. Holy shit! Okay, good. So I guess you are supposed to explore. Is there an inventory? No, I could just save. Well, that's good to know. Crap, so we're, we just slept, we just woke up in this basement. Just looking around for other stuff. What did I just do? Holy shit, hold on, hold on a second. Wait, can I go back up? I can't go back up. I was going to explore that other door. My god. The door is locked and there's no keyhole. Arza. Fuck. This is like, kind of like a hostile environment. The burnt body in the cell is not recognizable. Isn't that the glasses? Edward? I feel dizzy and the stench is unbearable. There's a shiny over there. Is this another friend of ours? Large badly burnt bodies laying on the floor. The logo of Woodland Mountain Guide Team is still visible on the left sleeve of the jacket. That's the jacket Barry was wearing, isn't it? Doesn't make sense. He wasn't in the dream before. What are you talking about, Ella? Can we go in here? No. Wait, peeks through the keyhole. Looks like there's something on the bed. I need to get that key. But how? I guess we... Can we move boxes? No. Wait, hold on. Oh, this sucks so bad. How am I supposed to get in there? Uh, I'm sure there's something I can push that'll help me. Can I seriously not go back? I can't go back. Okay, hold on. There must be something I'm missing here. What's in here? A rusty key was found. How convenient. Two old but still shiny necklaces lying on the bed. This is my necklace I got from Pa when I was little. I don't remember there are two of them. Interesting. Fuck. Oh man, that dream again. Same thing as last time, but more happened this time. Do you want to talk about it? We actually should talk about this. It's super important. Well, this time I saw Bear as well, and I think he was dead. Maybe he was there because you've just met him. Dreams are often mixed up with things of reality. I don't want any of that to be real. How's that going to happen in the middle of the woods? I mean, come on. Give her a break. Go to bear instead of being sarcastic. So far, the 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 detail and the level is really really good. I like it so far.
Just eat and everything will be fine. I heard something about you seeing me die. Look at his face. He's so worried. That's just a nightmare. Oh, good. Woo. Here, have some soup. Maybe food will clear up my mind. All right, we'll be off tomorrow morning. Thank you for all your help. Due to the damaged road ahead, I still can't drive you any further. I'll stay here at the cap by Lake Avalane, as you wanted. Let's eat and fall asleep to the sounds of night. We'll wake you all up in the morning. Sleep tight. All right. I guess we go to our tent ourselves. <laughs> Ginger top. That's new. My name is Ella Morn, and I live in a small port called Wild, Wild Spring. I'm 17 years old and live with my father, Gain. He's a fisherman. We're not rich, and we can't we, but we can get food on the table at least. I've had many strange, horrible dreams lately. They involve death and terrifying scenarios. The worst part is that my friend Edward and Azara are both in them, dead. Edward and I have been buddies as long as I can remember them, and it has been, seemed like a big brother to me. Azara is a bit older than us and often hangs with Edward. I really don't know why she's like... Uh, likes to be with us because she can be a bit harsh. I like her confidence, though. During the last week in June, my pa was away on a fishing trip, so I decided to bring Edward and Azaria with me to our old house. We moved away from our old place, and we were just three years old. I don't remember much. Apparently, it was a one-hour ride to Wildsburg near Lake Al Al Alain. So we contacted Woodland Mountain Guides team for guidance. We moved when my ma fell ill and passed away. Pa never wanted to talk about it, really. He insisted we would never move back to the place again. I feel kind of guilty, though. I wanted to know more about what happens in my family. Maybe the place and dreams are connected. I need to know. Sorry, Pa. Pa doesn't know about his, his dreams. He would be worried sick if I told him. Edward and Azara know about the dreams, though, and I insisted they wanted. They insisted I wanted to help me. It's just a dream, right? That or you watch too many horror movies. For what it's worth, the story is really, really good so far. And we, all we have is soup, but you know what? I'll take it. Cold tomato soup. Such a master chef. Don't listen. It's all good. She's just an asshole. Take what we can get. Oh, okay. They kind of like... Oh, cool. They like kind of follow us. All right, so she can only drive us this far, I guess. So we just go to the car. Or not. We just keep moving. I'm sorry. I kind of missed uh, something. Let me just save there. Or maybe we go this way. Okay, I assume we couldn't go this way because of the cracks in the floor, but that's fine. Fifteen minutes later. Which way should we go? I guess it's straightforward and check on the other sign as well. It just says that this is a private property. I guess this must be a car entrance exit. I guess it's better if we go over the bridge and see if we can get to the cottage that way. Jeez. Welcome to Moore's Cottage. All right, Miss Smartass, let's go. Don't mind if I do. Could you go first? I really don't like heights. Let Mr. Sissy Pants wait here while we ladies perform this heroic deed, Ginger Top. This ain't a big deal. It's 
See, nothing to worry about. Jeez. Might want to get out of his way. Okay. What the hell? I think she just fucking collapsed. Ah, my back. I must have fallen quite hard. I feel so nauseated, probably passed out. Where are my friends? Where the heck am I? This is the pond Pa used to bathe me in while I was little. Am I back at our old place? It's pitch black and I really need to find my friends. They must be around here somewhere. I really need a light source. Didn't Pa store his old tools and the stuff near the pond? God, I can barely see on my screen. Is that a... Is that an entrance to something? Oh no. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a chest. Holy crap. Actually, you know what? I don't know why. I just feel like making two saves. Okay. There's a ladder here. But why? Why? So we passed out? No, this has to be another dream. Unless we had a dream before that we were with our friends. That or the dream in a dream. Oh, it's a butterfly. Oh, we can't interact with the butterfly. Or lady... Or night bug. Wait, what's it called? Firefly. Don't know why I forgot. Alright, so I'm just going to assume we follow this path here. Hopefully we run into some kind of house. Hello. The door is... The house is locked. Okay. Is there anything we can collect for ourselves? Oh, they've been hanging here for years, huh? Yeah, I, I, I know. Close. We can't take this with us? Where does the cape? No? Okay. It's probably fucking wet and cold, man. Guess not. I hope I'm headed the right way. I, I You know, these paths here should lead me to some place. Fuck. Well, that sounds like progress to me. Damn it, it's locked. I don't remember what we stored down here, but I need a key. Okay. We're at our old place, so she knows exactly what's around here, but I don't know where I could find this key. Maybe it's in this barrel that's all lit up. Nope, it's not. This music's really good, too, but, uh... I don't know if, if this is music from another game, or... What's up with that barrel? Is there something in there? I just checked it. What's that sound? What? Why would she do that? I saw you approach from a distance with your crappy lantern. What can I say? I was bored. <laughs> wow, okay. The fuck? What just happened? That was fast! Oh, there's her head. Crap. Get the fuck out, man! Alright, hold on. Let me get that shiny. Blood is dripping from the edge of the sword. We will repay them for the sins and destroy them for their wickedness. Our Lord, the Lord our God, will destroy them. Mirror? No. Really? Nothing happens with the mirror? I'm not going down in the basement. I don't know, that's a pretty good flashlight, I have to say. Alright, so we have to look for a generator. So, despite our friend being decapitated, we're, right now, priority is, fuck a generator. I don't know, I, eh, I, I guess we should turn on the power, but where could this generator be? Okay, it was just right on the side of the house. Okay. Pretty simple. Um, I would just assume it would be on the other side. Like on the side of the, of the house, but 
I wasn't sure. What the fuck is that? It's not that lit up. Oh shit. What was that? Can I take this rope with me? No, I can just walk over it like an idiot. Oh, this is bullshit. The chest is locked. Clothes are written on the top of the chest. You know, we, we could use some dry clothes, but... I'm just going to sit here with the sniffles. Oh, shit. Uh, is this fluffer pup? It is. <laughs> I remember. The name fluffer pup is a bit ridiculous, but I've always wanted a dog. Uh, but Pa always said no. Yeah. I don't... Okay, we didn't... We already read it. I'm trying to look at the other one. I guess we don't care. Closet is a pile of dirty and damaged baby clothes. The air... Okay. What did we come down here for again? I'm sure we'll find it. The music stopped. Okay, now restart it. Okay, good. What are we coming down here for? No, the chest is locked, right? So we... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck off. Oh, do you, do you? Oh, God, with my headphones up. That That's some weird sounds. Um... I'll, 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 I'll say over here. Was that you? What are you holding there? Oh, it's the cellar key. Thanks. Thanks. I will be leaving now. Oh my god, that's so creepy. With my headphones all the way up, that shit. That was, ugh. It literally felt like that that fucking voice was behind me. Or next to me. Can we still not pick up the sword and wield it? No. God, that's brutal. Alright, well, we're going to go down that cell in the next part. But I hope you guys are enjoying this very interesting game. Very well done so far, I have to say. Hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.